Tim of Goffberg, and welcome to the world of Zenith. Today, I'll be your guide to the Zenith Chronomaster El Primero 38mm with slate gray sunray dial. This timepiece evokes the earliest Zenith El Primero 1969 references, both in its proportions and the details of its classically inspired dial. The timepiece is beautifully balanced from center to its outer periphery, where you'll find a robust double deployant tri-folding clasp, fully polished, quite secure. When the watch is placed on the wrist, the folding clasp ensures against accidental droppage while donning or removing at bedside at night. The watch features a robust alligator leather strap, black semi-gloss monotone stitch with folded edges on the top, and a supple natural vulcanized rubber inlay on the underside, the better to resist sweat moisture and heat on the wrist, improving comfort as well as long wearing durability for the strap itself. Now the spring bars have a slight arc to them to trace the contours of the case and create a more integrated overall aesthetic. The lug profiles are very much a product of Zenith's heritage, being heavily inspired by the original 1969 models, you can see that there's a sensuous compound curvature to the beautifully polished case flank. The lugs are sharply defined with masculine character, and you'll note the hairline bevel that runs across the entirety of the case band from lug to lug. On the tops of the lugs, satin finish provides contrast with the high polish and transitions seamlessly into the sun ray of the dial. Now the dial features several layers. Outermost is a tachymetric scale, the tachymeter allowing a object to be timed and thus read as a speed over a fixed distance such as a mile or a kilometer. Inboard a silvered minute and seconds track punctuated by 12 hand applied and faceted hour indices that allow a more robust and legible viewing of the time at a simple glance. Now inboard the silver sunray center dial features radial graining and texture such that it's dynamic in the light, never the same twice. It's the grain and the depth of the dial's texture that gives this watch its immense personality. The triple registers with slight overlap are designed specifically to allow easy reading of all indications including constant seconds at 9 o'clock, chronograph minutes at 3, and chronograph hours at 6 o'clock. The tritone, like many other characteristics of this watch, drawn directly from Zenith's heritage. The watch features a discrete date window at 4.30 that allows easy at-a-glance reading of this useful information, and minimalist pump pushers and an unshouldered crown allow the watch to maintain a classical, simple, and uncluttered case profile. The chronograph, an El Primero caliber 400 in-house 50-hour power reserve automatic winding column wheel chronograph, is a tactile pleasure to use, the column wheel making for crisp actuation. You can feel it, you can hear it. Its refinement is one of the hallmarks of Zenith's in-house manufacturing competence. No cam-operated chronographs are produced at Zenith. You can see the El Primero caliber handsome automatic winding with beautiful Cote de Genève across the skeletonized winding mass, the balance visible beating away at the movement's signature 5 hertz or 36,000 vibrations per hour. When held against the ear, it has the charming double step cadence that fans of the brand have come to love, and it's protected inside a 100 meter water resistance case for robust protection against the elements. You can see this 38 millimeter Zenith Chronomaster one of the latest additions to the El Primero family of chronograph timepieces, along with the entire Zenith collection of premium luxury watches on our website, govbergwatches.com.